Welcome students. Let us talk about the control of disease or carriers. The vectors which are carrying the diseases. Hello students. Do you want to excel in maths and science? We have some don't memorize courses for you which can help you in preparation of maths and science. I have given the links in the description and you can avail 90% of the discount from all these courses. And if you will use this coupon code, you will get extra 10% discount on all the courses. Don't memorize courses are part of Infinity Learn by Sri Chaitanya. Let us first talk about social hygiene and sanitation. So all public places such as school, offices, bathrooms, theatres should be kept clean. The eating places such as hotels, restaurants, roadside dabas and their surroundings must be kept clean and free from the flies. Then all eatables must be covered. All utensils, spoons, dishes, bowls must be thoroughly washed with the soap and preferably with the hot water. All public drains and garbage must be covered and disinfectants like bleaching powder and lime should be sprinkled so that we can control the growth of the infectious germs. The civic body should ensure the supply of germ-free drinking water and efficient sewage disposal. So let us first understand what is the vector and how they are spreading, how they are capable of spreading the diseases and why we are calling them carriers. So vector is any agent that act as an intermediate carrier of pathogen. That means they are carrying the pathogen from one place and they are spreading the infection among humans and among animals. So that's why they are known as vector. They are carrying the pathogen, that means they are an intermediate for this pathogen. Steps should be taken to control or to eradicate the diseases. Then control of house flies, mosquitoes, cockroaches and red should be given maximum priority and these are the worst enemies of human and animals. So now we are going to discuss that how house flies, mosquitoes, cockroaches and rats are spreading the diseases they are acting, how they are acting as a carrier and how can we control them. Now let us understand how house flies are contaminating our food and it is acting as a potential carrier of many diseases. So it is a natural scavenger. We can consider house fly as a natural scavenger as it is cleaning and consuming the leftover food. But it causes serious harm and spreading numerous diseases like dysentery, cholera, typhoid, etc. So how housefly spread the diseases? So there are four ways by which houseflies can spread the diseases. First one is they are having a hairy body and the spiny legs. This hairy body and spiny legs will pick up the flit and along with that they will pick up the germs from the dirty places. It also contaminates food by sitting on it. Flies can just contaminate the food only by sitting on it when they are pouring out their saliva. Sometimes they are vomiting out some extra food material what they have gulped it or what they have eaten it from the dirty places. So they are pouring out saliva, it moistens the food stuff by pouring out saliva when they are sitting on the food stuff. Then third one is excreta. It deposits its excreta while it feeds. So while they are sitting on the food, it contaminates food because they are having hairy legs and spiny legs which already contain so many germs. So they are mixing this germ with the food particles. They are also mixing the saliva, they are pouring the saliva on the food particles. They are depositing excreta on the food particles and sometimes they are also responsible for the direct transmission of the germs. For example, the conjunctivitis diseases or some eye infections. If a person has any conjunctivitis disease or any eye infection, then the fly will sit on that infectious eye and then after that the fly will sit on healthy person's eye. So this fly has become a direct vector for this conjunctivitis disease. So these flies are contaminating our food and they are spreading numerous diseases. It is very important to control them. So now let us see how can we control the house flies. 
So how can we control the house flies and breeding of the house flies? So first one is elimination of the breeding places. All refuses and all human and animal excreta should be removed at regular interval. It should be disposed of in such a way that flies cannot breed on it. If this refuses and animal excreta we are disposing of in an earth pit and we are covering with the mud or a soil then it will generate enough heat so it will get decomposed and we can get rid of this animal and human waste. It should not be disposed of such a way that flies can breed on it. Then second is spraying. The houses and breeding places should be sprayed with DDT and other insecticide. Third is avoidance. That food should be kept covered so that the flies cannot sit on it. And next is sleeping babies should be protected by the mosquito net so that the flies will not be able to sit on their hands and legs which will in turn deposit the germ and babies will get infected by the diseases. So that possibility we can avoid by making them sleep into a mosquito nets. Now let us talk about mosquitoes, how they are spreading the disease and how can we control them. So Anopheles mosquitoes spread malaria in man, monkeys and birds and they are spreading this malaria via plasmodium germ which are from the protozoan family. Now QX mosquito spreads elephantitis which is caused by nematode worm Vukereria. So this mosquito is spreading this worm which is named as Vukereria and this worm is from the nematode family. Here mosquito is spreading plasmodium which is causing malaria and they are from protozoan family. Now it is mosquito spreads yellow fever and dengue both caused by their respective virus. So it is mosquito are spreading yellow fever and dengue which is caused by yellow fever virus and dengue virus. So their virus's name is the same as they are causing the disease yellow fever virus and dengue virus. Now how they spread the germs? When mosquito will bite any person who has an infection or who has this kind of disease. So when they are sucking the blood, they are injecting the saliva and they are taking the blood. Now when they are taking the blood, along with the blood, they are germs also. This germs will multiply in mosquito's body. Now when this infected mosquito will suck the blood from healthy person's body, again they will inject saliva which will contain the germs which they got it from the unhealthy person or the person who was sick. So those germs they are injecting into healthy person's body and that is how they are becoming a potential vector of many diseases. Now how can we control the mosquitoes? The adult mosquito should be destroyed by spraying DDT and other insecticides in dwelling places like spraying on the ponds and marshy places kills mosquito at larva level. So these are the mosquitoes breeding places when we are spraying this kind of chemicals and this kind of insecticides on the ponds and marshy places we are killing the mosquito at larva level. Then comes elimination of breeding places. So breeding places should be destroyed like small ponds and puddles. We should fill it up so they will not be able to breed more mosquitoes. Then comes spraying on stagnant water. The kerosene and greasy oil should be poured over the water. So this oil will make a thin film on the surface of the water. So, so this oil will kill larva and pupae when they come to the surface for the breathe. Then comes biological control. Fishes like Gambusia, they will selectively devour the mosquito larva. So they will eat up all the mosquito larva and they will control the breeding of mosquitoes. So this comes under biological control that we are keeping those kind of fishes which will eat and which will feed on the mosquito larva. So that is how we can control the breeding of mosquitoes. Our next carrier and vector are cockroaches. They are common household insects. They are breeding in connecting manholes and into the sewers. So these are the wet, damp and dark places. So these places are the breeding places for the mosquitoes.
they eat and spoil food paper and clothes they are carriers of certain viral diseases and probably cancer causing virus they are containing so when they will roam around in our houses they may contaminate our things like food paper and clothes with this dangerous viruses now how can we control them so spraying ddt and other insecticide in their breeding places is an effective method of control once we are spraying this insecticides and ddts into the breeding places like connecting manholes and in the sewer we can control their breeding process and we can eventually control them from infecting our household stuff like food paper and clothes